Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate clicking on that video as always. And today we have another rack store video. I actually picked something up from somewhere I don't normally grab fragrances. That is Saks Off Fifth. I have bought from them online before, but typically when I'm in store, I just don't get that lucky and I don't find anything really of interest to me, uh, at least the Saks near me. But I was able to find something that piqued my interest and I also went with the old standby, which is Burlington. And Burlington's been killing it lately. They've been pretty much stacked. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna try it on a strip, see what I get, and then try them both on skin and let you guys know if it is worth your hard earned money. So let's get into it. Today's scent that I was able to pick up at Burlington for $19.99 is one that I've come across before. However, I just never grabbed it. It was standing out to me this time. Scent I'm talking about is Dunhill's EDT. So I'm excited to try that. And then also what I grabbed from Saks Off Fifth, and this box definitely has been open before. It looks like they kind of threw it together with some boxing tape, uh, packing tape or something. Uh, but I got this on red sticker for $49.99. You can see there, which to me is still cheapy territory, especially for this fragrance because I haven't really seen it less than $80 online. The scent I'm talking about is Chopard's Rose Malachi. So let's get into it. Start with the Dunhill. Okay, so you have this sort of flask style bottle, which I really like. Bottle is pretty heavy duty and cap has a lot of weight to it. So the quality of the bottle snaps nicely, very satisfying snap right into place. Really like the simplicity of the bottle so far. Let's check that atomizer. I've seen better atomizers. Getting a little bit of that in the air at the moment. Sort of soapy, almost old school vibe to it. So off the strip, I'm getting a little bit of citrus, maybe like a mandarin orange or something up top. Does have sort of that soapy, clean vibe to it. Bit old school, but not in a bad way. Almost like a Coca-Cola vibe to it. This reminds me a tiny bit, at least on strip, on first sniff, a little bit like Burberry's touch. But other than that, I'm not really getting much off of the strip. Yeah, really clean smelling, a little bit sweet. Let's get this right on skin and see what else I pick up. Okay, so off of skin, I'm getting a lot of lavender, a lot of lemon, something a bit green and herbal to this. It's a bit, it's almost like a sweet herbalness to it. It's a very powdery scent. Yeah, it does remind me a lot of Burberry Touch in, in some ways. There is a floral to this. There's a floral aspect to it that's sort of supporting that lavender. In, in the opening, it's definitely comes across as sort of a really gentlemanly, clean smelling, well put together guy. And it's soft. It's not a huge projector or a beast or anything like that. It projects really softly. It smells of really nice quality. It's not harsh or synth overly synthetic, nothing like that. It smells really nice. This is a really easy scent to wear. And this is something that I would imagine to be sort of a signature type scent. So as it dries down a bit, I am getting more of the florals. There is sort of uh, almost like a, like almost like a rose to this. It's actually very nice. It's a really nice sort of floral heart to this scent. I'm almost picking up like an oak moss note. That sort of trio of the lavender at the opening and the floral mid and then that sort of woody, musky, oak moss type dry down is reminding me of a more mature, almost vintage style fragrance. But it's really nice and it's really powdery. There is something sort of sticking out to me that doesn't, it's not, I'm not crazy about the note. Can't quite put my finger on it. It's an odd sort of hint at something that I can't quite pick up, but I'm not crazy about it. Is it ruining the scent for me? Mm, it's not that obvious, but it is definitely sort of coming in and out, kind of making itself known. I mean, for $19.99, I will say the, that this is a really high quality fragrance. And if you're just looking for something uh, classy, well put together, you're in, again, you're an older gentleman. This is definitely gonna fit that bill. If you're into more blue fragrances and more modern type uh, fragrance profiles, you may not like this one. Yeah, not a bad scent. Dunhill EDT.
So I'm not keeping it in the video, but that box was not easy to open. They actually put a piece of packing tape around it. So yeah, I don't know. My guess is that someone probably tried it in store or returned it. So my guess is this has definitely been sprayed, but the scent we are talking about is Chopard's Rose Malachi. As far as the presentation goes, I really like this bottle. I think the bottle looks really nice and it almost has this sort of gunmetal gray cap and I would say that it just has a sort of nice look to it. Reminds me a bit of the Boss bottled bottles. So yeah, let's check out that atomizer. So decent atomizer, nothing crazy. Let's try this on strip. In the air, it smells really nice. I'm getting a lot of vanilla, almost an amber. Okay, so on first spray, I'm definitely getting, picking up an amber accord along with almost like a booziness. Not very much rose, believe it or not. More of an amber, boozy, vanilla feel. Not what I was expecting. No citrus, really, that I'm picking up. I would imagine this to smell really great in the fall and winter. This is definitely a fall winter leaning scent so far. Yeah, really nice on initial spray. Let's try it on skin, see what I pick up. Wow, okay, this is different. This is, uh, very nice. So on first impression of how this is sort of reacting to my skin, this is definitely a unisex fragrance. And I think it's marketed to both uh, men and women, but it's not leaning one way or the other. If anything, I would say it leans a bit more masculine and being a rose fragrance, that can sometimes not be the case, but where it has this heavy dose of woods and almost like a boozy accord that I'm picking up. I'm also picking up sort of an, uh, aromatic sort of spiciness. It's definitely a spiciness that is smelling like it's almost floating. Like, yeah, it's mixing really well with that rose. And the rose is a really lovely, real, pretty authentic smelling rose. It's not jammy in any way. It's not sweet. Mainly what I'm getting is what I got off of the strip. I'm getting a really heavy dose of amber and vanilla and that rose along with cedar. It's definitely cedar. It's sort of unmistakable when you smell it. Yeah, and a boozy accord. I'm definitely picking up like a booziness to this, which I really like. I really enjoy this. This is something different. I There's not many fragrances that I've smelled that sort of blend that rose cedar combo with a spicy booze note. So that to me is just with an undertone of vanilla. Very nice. This is very unique. This is a unique fragrance and I'm really happy I grabbed it. I mean, for $49, $49.99 on Markdown, this is a absolute hidden gem in my opinion. Very impressed with this fragrance. I can see myself wearing this this fall and winter. This is definitely gonna be a go-to for me. Pleasantly surprised by this one. I love the woodiness in this fragrance. It sort of balances out all the other things going on. I'm not too familiar with the house of Chopard. I definitely am now interested in this house because I am very impressed by this fragrance. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried this one. What are your thoughts? Right now, I'm really liking it. To me, this is just a very sexy night out type scent. Not really something I would probably grab for the office or anything, but going out, absolutely. I would imagine this to be almost a head turner in some cases. That's all I have today, guys. Let me know in the comment section below, have you tried either one of these fragrances, the Dunhill EDT or the Chopards Rose Malachi? Let me know, do you like them? Do you not like them? If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. <music>